mainly with industrial side. And uh, how many of you are so swamped you don't need any more business? Anybody here like that? Okay. <laughs> well, you, no what. you may be that way, and that's great. This idea is not for you. I actually have two ideas that kind of blend in together. One is if you do need work, remember, when this wheel and these wheels are turning, you're not making money. You're making money when the flat one is turning or when the, the grinder's turning. When you're at your strip mall and you're at the beauty shop, stop and take a look around. I travel for a living. I do this all the time between visits. Take a look around and see who's there. Yes, industrial scissors. Sometimes we step back, we say, oh, we don't make enough on those. But the time investment is a lot less as well. You can go to a dry cleaner in the same strip mall next to your beauty shop, pick up five scissors at $10 each. Um, your total investment in time is about 15 minutes and you can make about 50 bucks. Okay, give or take the pricing, that's a whole other subject. Um, don't sell that short. Uh, my other thing that kind of combines with this is, look to fire a customer. <gasps> what did you just say, Bill? Yeah, there's good money and there's bad money. Find that bad money on your route and fire them. Make the business decision. Take the time you would invest in them and find better money. That person that is way outlying out here, that when you figure in all your costs, you're breaking even or it may even cost you money to deal with them. Sometimes firing is a have a heart to heart with them and say, you know what, I'm coming 43 miles out to your place and you're the only person out here and I'm, I'm losing. And firing is to stop the way things were being done and bring them back on at a different price with a different agreement, something like that. But clear out that dead weight on your route, fill it back in with better money, easier money from the business standpoint. And if you're looking for things, don't sell short a few industrial scissors. Let's face it, it's about making money. You know, yeah, getting some old, you know, uh, industrial shears from a tailor shop or an upholstery shop, there's no glamour in it, but the green is still there. So those are my ideas. Those are good.